The next trend we're going to talk about is ionization energy. This is the amount of energy required to remove an electron. All right. So with that, is this electron going to be removed easily? Or would this electron be able to be removed more easily? There's a couple things you need to look for. First thing, we know metals, which are on the left, they like to give up electrons. That's why they're always plus one, plus two, plus three. We know that the nonmetals always like to gain electrons. They're the negative ones. They're negative one, negative two, negative three. So if we take a, that into consideration, we expect these to give up electrons more easily than these, which makes perfect sense, which is what happens. Now the why. This gives up electrons more easily than something on the other side because look at the space between the nucleus and that electron. It's a, a large amount here. It's very tiny here. So the, the protons in the nucleus, they can hold those electrons a lot closer in. It's going to be much more difficult to pull them off from something like this. This one, it's further away. It's kind of reaching for it as is. So it's not going to be able to hold it as tightly. That's why the trend is as follows. Ionization energy. If we're moving from left to right, it increases. Remember, this is the amount of energy to remove an electron, so that's why it increases. It takes less energy to pull this guy off. It takes way more energy to pull this one off, all right? Same thing's true with going down, or in this case, since we always go up. If you're going up, it's a lot easier to pull this guy off, because look how far away it is, as compared with this one, as compared with this one. So as you go up, the amount of um, energy required also increases. And that's the trend, increase and increase. 